Highly sensitive person or highly sensitive person, HSP. A highly sensitive person or HSP is a term from psychology for people who are more sensitive to stimuli. High sensitivity or high sensitivity is not an unambiguous concept. For one, the emphasis is on hypersensitivity to light, noise, and crowds. The other is very empathetic and takes over the feelings of others. High sensitivity is often misinterpreted as a disorder. Research shows that it is a personality trait. According to the theory of psychologist Elaine Aaron, ASPs are a subgroup of the population that score high on the characteristic sensory information processing sensitivity and an increased emotional sensitivity, a stronger reactivity to both external and internal stimulation, pain, hunger, light, and noise, and exhibit a complex inner life. SPs are more negatively influenced than others by violence, tension, or sensory overstimulation. As a result, they avoid situations where such feelings can occur. High sensitivity is also associated with a higher level of creativity, richer personal relationships, and a greater appreciation for beauty. Characteristics of HSPs are aware of subtle signals in the environment, are influenced by the moods of others, are sensitive to pain. During busy days, they have a greater need to retreat to bed, a dark room, or a place where they can be alone undisturbed are particularly sensitive to the effects of caffeine, are easily overwhelmed by things like bright lights, strong smells, coarse fabrics, or loud sirens, have a rich and complex inner world, do not feel comfortable with loud noises, can be deeply moved by art or music, are conscientious, scare quickly, feel rushed when they have a lot to do in a short time, if highly sensitive people do not feel comfortable in an environment, they usually know what needs to be done to change that, for example, by dimming the light or moving the furniture. Get in a way when people want them to do too much at once. Do their very best to avoid making mistakes or forgetting something. Preferably don't watch violent movies or TV shows. Feel uncomfortable with a lot going on around them. Severe hunger has a strong influence on their ability to concentrate or mood. Changes in life upset them. Sense and enjoy delicate smells, tastes, sounds, and works of art. Give high priority to avoiding situations that upset or overwhelm them. When they have to compete or be watched, they become so tense that their performance is much less than usual. As children, they are, were considered sensitive or shy by their parents or teachers. Living with HFP, the term HSP was introduced in 1996 by the American psychologist Dr. Elaine N. Aaron and stands for highly sensitive person. In Dutch, highly sensitive person is translated as highly sensitive person or highly sensitive person. According to Aaron, it is fine to live with such a personality trait, especially if you know why you feel different from an early age and if you understand why you need more time to recover and why other people's emotions come in so hard. In a practical sense, according to Aaron, it is important that ASPs adjust their way of life. They must learn to let go of their guilt or inferiority feelings about their inherent limitations, and they should not try to live them in the same way as non-HSP. Aaron believes it is important that ASPs do not exaggerate, dramatize, and fall into victim behavior, but also not into assertiveness problems that ASPs often have. It mainly encourages HSPs to continue to participate in social life because their high sensitivity enables them to process information better and more extensively under the right circumstances. ASPs can make a significant contribution to society. According to Aaron, many HSPs will lead a happy spiritual life through positive appreciation of and better handling of their innate qualities. As with all personality traits, there are pros and cons to being highly sensitive. HSPs may have difficulty adapting to new circumstances, may display seemingly inappropriate emotional responses in social situations, and may react uncomfortably to light, sound, or certain physical sensations. Being an HSP also has its advantages, as highly sensitive people often report that they have deep connections with others that they have exciting dreams and internal monologues and that they enjoy art, music, and human connection. With the right support and an acknowledgement of their own strengths and weaknesses, HSPs can create an environment in which they are at home.
The biology behind high sensitivity. In animals, one in five individuals is also more sensitive to environmental cues, such as sounds and lights. When a herd of animals starts drinking, it is useful if a number of animals are more cautious, alert to threat, better able to recognize subtle signals that indicate danger. If new territory has to be conquered, you need less sensitive animals. In animals that live in groups, these properties therefore complement each other. Criticism of high sensitivity. The concept of high sensitivity has gained traction in the years since Aaron conceded it, especially now that more and more people identify as HSP. In total, about 15 to 20 percent of the population is considered highly sensitive. The trait of high sensitivity finds a resonance especially in society. While an industry has sprung up around high sensitivity with books, courses, and management tools, science often dismisses it as a fashion disease. The studies that have been done confirm that it is a common personality trait. About 20% of people are more sensitive to stimuli. Whether someone is highly sensitive is determined with a questionnaire from Aaron. The questionnaires are increasingly scientifically researched and new elements are added, but they are certainly not 100% accurate. In addition, according to Aaron, you are either highly sensitive or not. According to most other experts, it is not so black and white. Aaron's findings and the existence of high sensitivity are not widely accepted in psychology. High sensitivity does not seem to be taken seriously in science. In total, only 70 studies on high sensitivity have been conducted worldwide. As many as 70 studies are conducted each week into other personality traits, such as emotional stability, neuroticism. High sensitivity is sometimes considered fantasized in the sense that everyone occasionally has the feeling that the system is temporarily overloaded or overstimulated. One of the criticisms is that the descriptions of high sensitivity are so general to people that most can identify with them. It often sounds that the consequences of high sensitivity are grossly exaggerated, while high sensitivity only means that there are people who are more sensitive than the average person. Scientific evidence for high sensitivity. One proof that high sensitivity exists are the studies showing that the brains of highly sensitive people work differently. The Belgian clinical psychologist Elk van Hoof of the Vrije University Brussels compared fMRI scans of more than 1,500 adults and saw that most of us have a filter in the information processing system. We filter out information that we do not need at that moment. People with high sensitivity cannot do that. They receive many stimuli at the same time, even when carrying out an assignment, more brain areas are active at the same time in highly sensitive people. In comparable FNRI studies, other researchers saw that highly sensitive people notice subtle differences faster and better between two images that appear identical at first glance. And at rest, the brains of highly sensitive people appear to be more active. High sensitivity works both ways. Where overstimulation, fear and depression are lurking, the effect of positive stimuli on highly sensitive people is also greater. Research with 11-year-old schoolgirls shows that a higher score on sensitivity is even associated with a greater effect of psychological help. High sensitivity, introversion, and sensory processing disorder. Highly sensitive people are compared with introverted people or with people with a high neurotic level. According to Aaron's theory, these traits are different from each other although people can have them at the same time. There are similarities between Aaron's HSP theory and a condition known as sensory processing disorder. High sensitivity is also more common in people with autism or ADHD, but these disorders are not the same as high sensitivity. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Remain better.